Hi everybody, my name is Gabi and I'm an RPA developer. In this video, I will explain what it is, what is my superpower, and why being an RPA developer is cool. Actually, it is so cool that a lot of adults are switching jobs and becoming RPA developers. So I thought you might want to find out what it is and think for yourself if it's, it's something that you would like to do when you become an adult. RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. It's basically about building your own robots, but not the kind that are walking around the room. You probably have some of those already. Or maybe your parents have some robots that are cleaning the house, or some like Siri or Alexa that are giving them different pieces of information and helping them organize their day. These RPA robots are digital. You can't see them. They live inside your computer or inside other computers around the internet. Okay, so the robot part is not that hard to understand, but what is a process? A process is a series of actions that happen one after the other used to produce something or to reach a goal. So how could we describe the process of preparing to go out and play soccer? There are several steps you have to take in a certain order to prepare yourself for the game. You first change your clothes, then you go out the door and you get your shoes on, if it is cold, you might get a jacket on. Finally, you let your parents know where you're going and you open the door and close it behind yourself and then head to the football field. All these are actions and they are forming together a process. And if you are able to tell a bot how to perform these steps in a certain order, you are basically automating the process. But I promised I would tell you what is my superpower and it is... Talking to computers. And most of the time they understand me. You might speak a few languages already. I speak Romanian, English, German, and a bit of French. And I also speak Python and Visual Basic. And UiPath, which is the platform we are learning together, understands Visual Basic. But when I find it hard to express myself in it, I sometimes switch to Python to explain better what I mean. And computers understand it as well. So what can the RPA robots, also called bots, do? Well, anything that could be done on a computer that you could explain to them step by step. Computers are really complex, but they are not actually very smart. So you have to tell them what to do step by step. There's something called artificial intelligence, and that's quite cool actually. I've played a bit with it myself. There are different ways of trying to make a computer behave more like a human and teach it or train it in a similar way in which you and myself are learning. And automation also tries to do it it's more advanced forms called cognitive automation, but we will start with the basics and we will rely on clear steps. But enough talking, let's have a look now at the bot. I've developed a bot that can play rock, paper, scissors. Do you know the game? It's really fun to play with a friend when there's nothing else to do. You basically both count to three, moving your fists through the air, and after three you form with your hand either a rock, a paper, or a pair of scissors. And rock, beats scissors, paper beats rock, and scissors beats paper. So let's play the game. I'll run the bot and I have the option to choose between rock, paper or scissors. Let's go with scissors and in the background the bot will choose one option as well. And now I get the message that the bot has chosen rock and rock beats scissors. So bot has won. Let's play again. Let's choose rock this time. And it's a tie because the bot chose the same option, rock. Let's try to win. I will choose rock again. And he chose paper, he beat me again. I will choose paper. He chose paper. I will choose paper again and I won because he chose rock. That's it. In the next episode I'll explain how I built this bot and you can follow along and build your own. Stay curious and see you next time.